yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Good morning. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. We got a few hours of sleep. The cars are so beat, man. I mean, just look at how trashed Leroy is. Completely trashed. Got some race weekers heading out to the track right now. It's pretty early. Ruby's actually doing pretty good. She's not in as bad a shape as Leroy. Leroy just gets torn up in the rain. Right now we're heading to Kearney Raceway Park. It's about 15 minutes from where we're at. We've got some serious drag racing to do to catch up to our competitors that we have fallen behind with both cars. We really need both cars to make good passes and be ready to leave ASAP because today we have to drive another 300 miles and then we race tomorrow. There's no drive day like we've had previously. So hopefully we can get to the track early, get the cars changed over to their racing setups, make our passes, and then come back. The more time we can spare today, the better. So let's get to it, head to the track. Uh, super, super foggy today. Officially time to do some drag racing. Boy, Leroy might be uh, a little too dirty for the track today. We're definitely gonna have to take the cardboard off. Gotta swap his wheels and tires. Gotta swap Ruby's wheels and tires. James is already working on his fuel system. We're getting the jack out, just kind of unpacking the trailer right now. Getting prepped up. They should be racing here in about an hour, so we have a little bit of time, but we're trying to get in and out today. We wanna get our passes in early and hit the road because we have, I think, almost 300 miles of driving today to get to Julesburg. How are you guys doing down here? Oh, you know. Time of your life? Dream work makes teamwork. <laughs> or yeah. teamwork makes dream work. Or something, like that. <laughs> something like that. Old team Shane and James are killing it. Swapping over their fuel system to run on the Ignite E90 for today. A lot of junk up in there. She's a dirty girl. The track's going to be dirty today. All these cars picked up a bunch of crap on the drive. So once they're done with the jack, we just got to lift up Leroy, change his back tires over, and we're ready to bog deep. Bog and deep. Let her eat. Dude, I can't believe how well yesterday went. We didn't have a single stop for a problem. I guess we had to put fuel in Ruby, knock but that's it. Yeah, we knock could. on wood. Yeah. We're good, baby. So Jared showed up with the leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun in itself. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> Get the chips out. Save the chips. You did a great job, buddy. All right, guys, so for the stick shift class right now, we're in third place right there. So the guy in first went a 9-1 in Pueblo and then a 9-4 in Bandmere, so his average is 9.26. We ran the 861 and the 11 so we're at 9.8. So we gotta really turn it up. Gotta put the work in. If we, if we average some mid to low eights, we can definitely bring our average back into the eights, but if we run like a seven or a really low eight today, we could be tied by the end of the day. Yeah, with first. Yeah, above cool. him. Tied or just maybe a little bit behind yeah. him. I really only wanna make one hit today in Leroy though. So if we can do one good rip right here and just catch him, 
or even go like an eight two or three. Yeah, dude, that would be killer. Be killer. And then uh, for Ruby's class after day two, James is down here in fifth. Man, we got to get that up. So that's a tight class. Yeah, it is. These guys are running hard. So James went eight seven day one. These guys were in the eight fives, and then uh, James had the nine point one. So your average is eight point nine, but there's two people with an eight point eight. So if we get that eight five today, there's that might get that second pass at Vanderbilt. Yeah, we had a turn of that nine. I know. Man. The rain yeah. taught us. Yeah. If if we get an eight five today, we could probably jump you into third place, and then. You know, there's always a chance that these guys with the average of 8.5 up here, you know, they can break or have some bad runs. Not get down this trail. So we'll see what happens, but we got to run hard today. You guys want to hear an awesome company, G-Force, the guys who build the gears for the transmissions that we use in Leroy. You know, we broke the primary trans that we have. They overnighted a gear set to us so we can repair the transmission and still have a spare if we need it. So that's awesome. Brent's so going to do his thing and... Hopefully we can fix it with what's in these two boxes. They even gave us tools. So the guys at G-Force freaking hooking it up. Hopefully we can get the uh, spare fix now. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so we, we tore that one up. It's actually the gear itself. Yeah. How's the rest of the gears down there? Everything looks great down there. Yeah, so this, this whole one comes out, right? Because it's toast. Yeah. And then uh, oh, that's a little file, and that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 y
Hey, can I get a quick game plan from you? Go 850. Go 850? That's the game plan. Remember, I turned it up in Denver and I never touched it and I turned the boost safety off. So it's all in your hands right now. If I see 40, I'll stay in it. I see 45, I'll lift. <laughs> <laughs> I think the motor will lift automatically at about 35 via lifting the head gasket off of the deck. Good thing I drained the water. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> all right then. All right, here we have the second pass on Ruby since we changed up the vacuum lines. Hopefully what we did in the tune-up will work itself out on this pass. That would be great. things to get the boost up. You can see all beautiful Brent over here. I zoomed in on it. I was telling him we made some changes to get the boost up. And we're going to if it works. But Leroy's already in the lane, so we're going to go run him right now. Alright all right, guys, so we're back in Leroy. It's almost the end of the day. You can see Ruby back there. This has to be a good pass. I won't get another chance. Got to make this one work. Oh man, this needs to be a good pass. This is, this will jeopardize the whole trip right here. This is the, we're at a breaking point. We gotta make this happen. Six for Leroy. Every instinct in me told me to let off. But we needed that, boys. 
think I got a fuel pressure problem. Well guys, I think we ran an 870, I don't know. All right guys, so right now I think our cable drive is broken and remember we're not driving on the cable drive It's our secondary fuel system. So it's really it really hasn't been used much But we know there's a broken fitting on it and that might have been the demise of it Yeah, I think the uh, fuel cable broke I don't know I got no fuel pressure. Kyle almost just backed into me after hooking up the... Brent get your toolbox Sad bald eagle is sad. But well, we got our pass, boys. So I called Motion Raceworks the guys who set up our fuel cable thing. And I told him that the the we had broken the fitting earlier this week, so he knew about it. I called him, I go, hey, can you overnight a cable? And he goes, sure can. He's freaking sending one to the track. So we drive on the electric fuel pump. And we might make it. We might make it, get the next cable, and be able to run in Julesburg. If not, we have some electric backup pumps that we brought from Leroy's old fuel setup, and we might be able to make it work. Also, this golf cart sounds like it's about to blow up. That thing sounds rough. Oh! We ran an 8.3! No! <laughs> what? We ran an 8.3! No way! Oh, I feel so much better. How's James gonna do me like that? <laughs> no way. 83 at 178. Dude, Brent didn't even know. He said they couldn't hear him on the announcement. Woo! That's the best feeling. I thought I ran an 87, 83. Woo! Oh my God. James, breaking my heart out here. Oh, he's in the lane. All right, we gotta go get James. You have to lose your AAA account. <sighs> Put it on my AAA account. Dude, it was an 8-3. <laughs> it was an 8-3. <laughs> How is James? James calls, he's like, yeah, it's 8-7. I was like, oh, Without man. the boards, it's so hard to figure out what the heck's Woo! going on. Hell yeah, all right, he's about to run, so we gotta go get him. Dude, James hey, told me it was an 8-7. It was an 8-3. Holy yeah. crap, no yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, look at that, 8-T. Yeah, 8-36. You said 8.7 on the phone. <laughs> you should have heard the guy at the starting line. He goes, I think you said 8.73. Yeah. I was like, all right, it's better than an 11 second pass. <laughs> Dude, that's the best free news I've gotten all day. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, we need a good pass out of you. One, two, three, fog D. <laughs> Tried what we could. 
uh, I had a drive, and I think that's just what it, you know, what ended up eating, eating up the ET because it, it picked up to the 60, went 138 oh, to the 60. Oh, well, would you have to let off the like pellet? I kind of rolled back. It did the same thing again where it wanted to try to haze the tires on the shift because down track, it's really not there. Yeah. So I kind of like rolled out of the gas and rolled back into it. Oh, okay. The shift. But did was, it leave better? So the, it, oh, yeah. No, it picked up to the 60, went 138, gotcha. and it was more boost. Do you want to try and make it a third run, or what do you want to do? I mean, no one else is really getting down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you I'm are like, like the you're one of the fastest for today in the class. Yeah, I might if just not turn the, in this one because it's you know it's not much faster, but you know 886 is better than yeah. 887 for an average. That's so. true. What was the mile an hour on that one? 156. If you lost mile an hour. Oh, because you pedaled. Because I was it. driving it. Damn. So hey, you know he lifted. It, he said it, it left it. It left a lot better. He just oh, had to pedal it. Well, it went 138 instead of 143. So, so he but, had to uh, pedal it. I was I was driving it. It was just all over the place. So James has made the call that he thinks it's fast enough. I rather, you know, I rather if that tightens us up and we move up even to Dude. fourth and third out of the top five. No, I want to finish this thing. So I rather kill it. Smart decision. I rather kill man. it tomorrow and try to go faster. Yeah. We got overnight to fix it if we do anything stupid tomorrow. Right. Man. Awesome. That's, That's good. good. All right. Sounds great. All right, Shane, we got our passes. We're rolling out, dude. Hell Good job. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Stoked. All right, so we got to switch cars back to the other fuel systems. We got to put wheels and tires on. We're hitting the road. Look at that uh, 131 60 foot. Uh, 138. Mm. Man, you better put a clutch in that my, thing. My giraffe won't give me the hot tune. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> you let off the throttle. Not on the 60 foot. Yeah, okay. I was down here. It was leaving all right. All right, guys, we got our route. We turned in our slips. Thank you. James, you can't sell slips to other racers. Uh, I was just Come trying on. to help out my, my dirt bag. Damn, here's our uh, route for today. 189 miles to Julesburg Drag Strip. We have to do this today. So we got to get these cars switched over right now and get yeah. on the road. We do At not have a lot of time. Just two pages. Yesterday was yeah, four. two pages is a lot better than four pages or three pages, whatever we have. But we're going to a Pony Express station, a train display. And a street cafe. Shane's already pulling wheels off here. Freaking Brent's working on the fuel systems. We're gonna knock this out, get these cars back to their street trim, and we are gonna hit the road. We don't have much time. It's gonna be dark before we know it. So we got 190 miles. It's about four hours in these cars, probably. All right, guys, so I have a confession to make. I went down to the big end down there, and I thought the car was broken, right? It wouldn't make any fuel pressure. Uh, I reached under the car and I felt the fitting that we had broken in Denver. We broke the fitting on the cable to our remote fuel pump. So I thought it was broken and I was like, damn, we need this ASAP. So I called Motion Raceworks and they called the guys at Waterman. The guys at Waterman built one and already have it in the mail to overnight it to us because they're amazing. But it all turns out Leroy was just low on fuel. He didn't have enough fuel to reprime after I hit the parachute. So, I'll be an honest man, I'll own up to my mistake, but being that we have a duct tape fuel cable under the car, it's good that we get this fitting tomorrow anyways because we can change it out and not risk the chance of leaning out the car when it's running, you know, 30 pounds of boost on the track. So, shout out to the guys at Waterman, Doug at Motion Raceworks, hooking us up, even though, you know, I probably could have made it to the end of the week with my duct tape set up, but we broke the fitting, we got to fix it regardless, so they're hooking it up, they're... It's a blessing to have those guys and uh, but then otherwise tomorrow we'll also be getting the input shaft for the other transmission so things are looking really good. We're freaking killing it. We're almost all the way packed up. Brent's got a freaking amazing cardboard roof going. That blueprint engine's cardboard. Yeah, we're learning Dude, this is need. top notch. No, it's getting better. We won't even need to take this off at the next track. No, this thing is legal. <laughs> it will be. This is SFI. For sure. You guys want to sign it? All right, sign it up. Here, it's his marker. Let him go first. There you go. Here's your lid, too. Everyone get on there. Now, I will warn you, it's probably going to get ruined in the rain later, but get it while you can. All right, boys? Look at these improvements. Wow. This is top notch, Brent. Yeah. I come in here now, and it's not all lit up from the sun. There's like shadows and stuff. I know, dude. Hey, cheers to a beautiful day of racing. Beautiful day. Thanks, man. Thank you. We're off to Julesburg. Alright guys, it's 5 o'clock and we are on our way to Julesburg. So, we're going to be driving into the night, but it looks like we got some pretty decent weather to do so. Definitely helps. Uh, I just got the best idea ever. 
You know what kind of speeds these are rated for? Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. Okay. First guy, well, first guy to run an eight second pass. Well, go any speed you wanted to, whether it's safe or not. It's yeah, that's what start. I'm hoping for. There we go, we got the handles. Right. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yep, you bet. <laughs> James, don't scratch my freaking kayak. I've had it for five minutes. I think the handle would snap if Shane was sitting in it right now, but we could. Like, no. All right, get in there, Shane. Let's try this. <laughs> all right, you gotta balance. Ready? It's a little unstable. <laughs> oh, oh no! My freaking kayak already broke. Dude, now it's gonna take on water. Well, Shane's clearly too heavy for air riding the kayak. Yeah, put her up there. Wow, that really just sets the whole car off. It matches your fuel rails. It does match my fuel rails. <laughs> oh, look at that thing, show. James. Damn. Dude, this thing's so 2020. Dude. You want to live in the future? Freak. You want to live in 2020? You tied on space, but you want to clean your window and squeegee it dry? <laughs> Boom. Rain X spray squeegee. Not a paid advertisement. But we're still doing it. Wow, thanks, James. Guys, if you look at this upside down, it kind of looks like a bald eagle beak. That's pretty sick. I'd say we're set for the drive then. Damn, I hope we drive by a river or something. Hey, nice kayak, losers. Ah. I'm going to. I'm gonna take it off some big jumps. Thank you very much. I think it's helping my aerodynamics. Oh, dang, it's all flat. It's farm after farm out here. Original Pony Express Station. The heck? This is crazy. The Pony Express. This building went on its original site with the Pony Express Relay Station. Billy Campbell and Melville Bond both were riders on this portion of the trail. The station was also used by the Central Overland California and Pikes Peak Express Company as a stage stop. Wow. Well, what do you know? Pretty crazy, neat. Right? Successful stop. Back on the road we go. We got two more checkpoints. Well, the sun is going down and we're about 30 minutes to our second checkpoint. We'll probably be coming into town in the dark. But got headlights. Oh, it's the Platte River. Look at that. Woo! Hey, yeah. Oh, look at this. All right, I'm pulling over right here. It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's great. It's beautiful. Are we glowing? <laughs> oh, we're going bald, dude. James and Shane are like, why are we turning around? Oh, they know. They know now. They know. They know now. <laughs> This is how you take full advantage of Rocky Mountain Race Week. <laughs> Which side are we going? Uh, it's going to be hard to get through the cattails. No, I think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's supposed to be like, I think they're supposed to be turned because you turn your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it down. 
Careful, yep. careful. You be careful. Last thing we need to, to do is hurt a clutch foot out here. Yeah, the, uh, the hospital was two towns back. <laughs> Sorry, Brent. I'm off. Are you ready? Give him a speech. All right. Yeah, Chris in the boat. We're going bogging. <laughs> Did you just christen the boat with a plastic water bottle? Yeah, Who's there? I got you. Oh! I'm thinking. Woo! You were out. Damn. Your one paddle's backwards. <laughs> no, I think it's supposed to be like that, dude. It's supposed to boat with the water, not away from the water. Yeah, you gotta scoot. There you go, like that. Oh, no, no, no. Scoot. Scoot. Don't make it Ready? Right. Time your launch. Alright, make sure your paddles are set right. Paddles are set. Give me a, give me a Three hops. Here we go. There you go. go. Get it, girl. A, a four nine to the eight. Woo! Cast out, you might catch a cleaner. <laughs> oh, look at that speed. Alright, I'm gonna park this thing real gentle, okay? Yeah. It's coming in hot. I saw this in the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was smooth. That was actually yeah. perfect. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, brother. What do you think of your... Too bad. I mean, that's nice a recent impulse buy. Nothing serious. We could get a long rope and have Leroy pull us <laughs> from across the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we try to do like jump, 100 try to mile an hour. Come, come from over there. <laughs> Damn, look at that technique. Hey, no, Brent. Brent, see if you can bog through the grasslands over here. That's one experienced kayaker if I've ever seen. <laughs> There's skeeters out here, I tell you what. Looking good, Brent. Yeah, now come through that gap right here. Oh, he's coming through. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> I think I'm beached! And it stinks! Oh! Oh! He's got that thing in four low! He's got that in Brent Boggs. It's gross! Damn! What a technique. Smooth with it. All right, James, you up? Uh, All right, let's throw I this rig back. Oh, you're taking on water there, bro. <laughs> there you go, wash off, buddy. All right, let's throw that thing back on the roof and hit the road. Wasn't that a nice little stop? You feel refreshed? Refreshing and fine. It's amazingly fast. Hey, give me the handle and I'll, I'll yank her up. Hip. 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 I would call that a success and a half. Yeah, this is yeah. great. Thanks, guys. See ya. Had to test them. All right. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Right, I never supposed to run, run these upside down, but it looks cooler like this. So. Good thing it going like this though is it ain't gonna drip all the water took on on you while going That's down true. the road. That's true. Should get some time to dry out. All right, guys. Well, we're hopping back on the road here. Got to get to our next checkpoint. It's gonna be dark pretty soon. All right, here's our next stop. They have a Ferris wheel. They got a Ferris wheel. Hi. Hi. I heard you freaking out. Yeah, a whole bunch of people here. We just gotta pull up, get our pictures, and roll out. Union Pacific Challenger, I believe. That thing's huge. This is the most incredible trip I've been on in my life. Driving Leroy into the sunset. Colorado. The weather could be more beautiful.
Front Street Cafe. It's pretty cool. All right, well, you guys can see the cars here. We're at Front Street Cafe. It's our last checkpoint. They literally just shut the lights off. So we're just going to keep going, grab some food right before we get to our hotel in Julesburg, and we will be at the track in the morning. So unless something else crazy happens, I'm just gonna close it out right here. We had an incredible day today. Uh, we'll tell you guys the standings in the morning on where we're at, what place we're in right now. I don't know what we are. It was a freaking epic day of racing though. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, do it for now. We will freaking see you later, and thanks so much for all the support on the videos this week, guys. It's been a lot of late night editing and hard work for the team. We're having a blast and you guys are supporting us, so we're gonna keep on doing it.